In this video, I want to calculate the torque around position A. Um, the bar that I have here has a mass of 6 kilograms. So to do that, we're going to sum the torques. And to sum the torques, anything that's going to go make the beam go this way, we will make positive. Anything that will make the beam go this way, we will make negative. Again, that's based upon the right-hand rule and the cross product of R cross product F. So I'll start from my left. We have a 20 Newton here. So we'll do the distance first. So we'll put a negative, and the distance from A to the perpendicular to the 20 is going to be 1. So put 1 meter times the force of 20 Newtons. And one thing I like to do here usually is make the arrow showing which way it goes. So this is going to make the beam want to turn this way around A. So again, that's why I'm doing the negative. I come now, let's just come to the mass. It's going to operate right in the middle. So the center of gravity of the mass would be right approximately right in there at the middle halfway between what would be two meters from this end because the meter because the beam is four meters long. So the distance from here to here would be one meter because it's one meter from this side here. All right. So, and again, it's going to make it go negative also. So we'll say negative. I'm going to change this. I don't know why this thing changes thickness all the time. Negative. And the distance will be one meter times the force. And the force would be six kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared because the mass is a six kilograms. We multiplied it by the acceleration of gravity and that'll give us our force. Now we come to the next one. Now this one, oh, let me do the arrow too. I like to do that. 15 is making it go back the other way. So that's going to be plus and the distance from A perpendicular to the 15 is going to be the two. Like that. Again, I'll make it go back this way here. Now this one here, you want to look at this and you have two components. You want to break that into components. You're going to have one component of this going down here and you're going to have another one going back this way here. So let's make sure that thickness is staying the same real quick. Yeah, it keeps reverting back. Okay, whatever. Try it one more time, make sure that thickness that keeps bouncing back. I apologize for that. All right. So we come to this force here. We will do the component here. This Now this component would be 30 times the sine of 40 would give me the vertical component. And again, it's going to go negative. So we say negative. And this has to be 3 meters times 30 newtons times the sine of 40 degrees. Again, it's going to make it go back this way. Now since I gave this beam some thickness, we're going to try calculate the moment of this. Now this moment is going to make it want to move counterclockwise so it's going to be positive. So we put positive. Now the distance, perpendicular distance from here down to A perpendicular is going to be 20 because the beam here is 0 0.4, 0 0.40 thick and it's 0 0.20 up so the distance from here, it's going to be from here down would be 0 0.20, 0.20 meters. So we'll put that in there as 0.20 2 meters times 30 newtons times the cosine of 40 degrees. Again, it's making the beam go back this way, so that's probably the positive. Now again, we'll just go back and verify. Again, the 20 is going to make it go clockwise, so that's correct. The mass times the 9.8 is also going to make it go back this way here, so that's negative, that's correct here. Go back to the picture. The 15 is making it rotate counterclockwise. That's going to be positive, which we have it here. The 30 times the sine of 40 is going to make it want to rotate clockwise. So that's going to be negative here. And 30 times the cosine of 40 is going to make it go counterclockwise. It's going to be positive here. If we run those numbers, we will get minus 102.05. And the units for torque will be newtons meters. Okay, it's a fairly simple little beam, um, just has a few forces on it, but I hope this short little lecture helps you understand how to set up and calculate torque from any point. 
As always, I wish you guys the best of luck.